Hello friends. Now we will construct a CFG for the expression a plus b, a plus b plus 0 plus 1 the whole star. Right? Here what is the meaning of this expression means the string should starts with either a or b. Starts with either a or b followed by a or b or 0 or 1 with power star. Right? This is the concept. That is, the set of strings for this expression is starts with either A or B. Either A or B. And it may consist of A followed by A star. Or A followed by B star. A followed by A star. Or A followed by B star. Or A followed by 0 star. Or A followed by 1 star. Right? Likewise for B. B, B followed by A star. B followed by B star. B followed by 0 star. B followed by 1 star. These are the possible set of strings for this expression. Right? If star is equal to 0 means then it is having either A or B alone. If star is equal to 1 means A followed by A or A B or A 0 or A 1. Same for B also. B alone, B0, B1, BA, BB. Right? If it is 2 means it consists of the string with modulus of W is equal to 3. If it is equal to 3 means modulus of W is equal to 4. Like this we will derive some set of strings by using this expression. Then how we will write a CFG for this expression? The initial that is the minimum symbol is either A or B. The minimum acceptable symbol is either A or B. That will be written as, the production will be written as S implies A or S implies B. That is either A or B alone. Right? The entire thing is equal to epsilon. If the star is replaced by 0 means it is equal to epsilon. So it is having only A or B. Next thing is, this A or B followed by A or B followed by a, B or 0 or 1. So how we will write the production? S implies. S implies A or B followed by. A or B followed by means A or B is assigned to a variable called S. Yes. So S yes followed by A or S yes followed by B or S yes followed by 0 or S yes followed by 1. These are the four possible options. Right? If the star is replaced by 0 means it is equal to A or B alone. If the star is replaced by 1 means it is equal to A or B. Instead of this yes we will replace by A or B. Followed by A or B or 0 or by 1. Right? These are the possible conditions for replacing with the identifiers. Next thing is here what are the operators present in this expression? We are having the operators as open bracket, close bracket, plus and star. These are the four operators present in this expression. Open bracket, close bracket, plus and star are the four operators. Then how we will use the operators in the expression? Right? Initially, either A or B alone is an itself, a product, itself an expression. So we will write that production as E implies. E implies yes is a production that is S alone is an expression. For S we will replace this by using either by A or by using B. Either by using A or B. So E implies S. S is replaced either by A or by B. Right? Next thing is the operators are used in this expression. So expression can be written as one expression plus another one. Right? Expression plus expression plus operator. Next thing is star. E implies E star E. And last one is E implies open bracket S close bracket. Right? These are the how we are operators we are using in the production. These are some set of productions used for representing this expression. Right? These are basic condition either A or B. And if it is followed by A, B, 0 or 1. And this is for using the operators. Right? Next thing is, these are set of productions. 
Grammar G is defined by using four tuples V T P S. What are the variables used in this grammar? Here we are having what are the variables in the set of productions for S and E. These are the set of variables used in this grammar. And what are the terminals? The terminals are A, B, zero, one, and operators are also considered as the terminals. Right? What are the operators? Plus star open bracket and close bracket this are the set of terminals used in this grammar right and which one is the start symbol yes here which one is the start symbol see here e implies yes right so e is the start symbol start symbol is e e is the start symbol right this is the CFG for the expression a plus b, a plus b plus zero plus one, the whole star, right? Next, derive the string a one zero one plus b one zero one by using the CFG. How we will derive this? The given thing is a one zero one plus b one zero one. Here, a one zero one plus b one zero one means this is of which form? This is of the form e implies e plus e. Right, so we will write the production as e implies e plus e, e implies e plus e. Right, e implies e plus e. Next, how we will derive this a one zero one and b one zero one from e? How we will derive this? That is, here see here, this ends with what? This ends with one. Right, so e is replaced by s. Yes. This e is replaced by s. Yes. Thus, s yes plus e. Since we are having the production e implies yes, we are having the production e implies yes. Next, in this yes, the this yes should be replaced by a one zero one. In a one zero one, what is the last symbol one, right? Yes, production with the last symbol as one. Yes, production with last symbol as one means that is yes implies yes one, right? So this yes is replaced by yes one. Yes is Replaced by S one. Next thing is after this one from last after this one. What is the what is the next terminal we are having? Zero, right? So this S is replaced by S zero. This S is replaced by S zero plus E. Since S implies S zero, right? Next thing is S is replaced by S one. S one. Our next one is yes is replaced by a. At last, this yes is replaced by a. A one zero one plus e. Since yes implies a. Here since yes implies yes one. Right? Like this, we will replace this e. Right? We will replace this e first by yes. Next by yes implies. Yes one. Next yes implies yes zero. Next yes implies yes one. At last yes is replaced by b. Instead of this a, we will replace that by b. So e implies a one zero one. A one zero one plus b one zero one. Finally, we will get the yield as a one zero one plus b one zero one. Right. So this is the CFG for this expression and how we are deriving a particular string by using a CFG. Just we will replace the productions in a recursive manner, right? Thank you.